16-year-old Aubrey Gooden arrived at Norfolk Circuit Court today to face a charge of murder. The charge stems from the January 6, 1982 stabbing death of Norfolk cab driver Tilton Alexander. Alexander was called to DePaul Hospital to pick up a fare at the emergency room entrance when, according to witnesses, a black male entered the cab and a short time later was seen running away from the scene, leaving behind the fatally wounded cab driver. Gooden, then 15, a Norview High School student, would write a note to his assistant principal making reference to the murder, signing the note, the angel of death. Assistant Commonwealth Attorney James Roccoletti in court today was confident about the evidence. I feel that the evidence that the Commonwealth will produce through the witnesses and through the other testimony that will come before the court is certainly sufficient to convict the defendant beyond a reasonable doubt of his crime. The defense, Jim Lewis, says it's too early to call. But I would say at this point in time that we ought to wait and see how the evidence comes out. It's a little bit early to make any comments about it yet. At the trial, the jury was selected, the opening arguments were made, and the first few witnesses for the prosecution testified. Gooden appeared calm and sedate throughout the proceeding. The testimony from the first two eyewitnesses who allegedly saw Gooden at the scene weakened under the cross-examination of Lewis when one witness said she couldn't be absolutely sure. But the situation turned about when Broccoletti brought on another witness who saw Gooden near the scene and positively identified him. Testimony in the so-called angel of death murder trial promises to intensify tomorrow when the prosecution will introduce more evidence, evidence that alleges that Aubrey Gooden signed a confession. In Norfolk, Barbara Sierra, The Daily News.